Alright YouTube, welcome to the next uh, live stream. This one's going to be the third mission of uh, Homeworld's uh, Deserts of Karak. I'm going to open the live chat room so I can see if anybody's here, and if so, be able to interact with you. No one on the stream yet. I did just create it, or at least no one in the chat. Let's see if anybody's here. Hello! See if we can chat with anybody. I don't expect this series to be as popular as Rome 2, obviously. Um, let's stay in this screen for a minute. I'm going to get the mission fired up for us, and hopefully we'll get uh, get some people joining. But yep, we are live. Let's see. Campaign. This is really just meant for me to live stream this because um, it would be more fun for me to live stream it than just simply record and upload. So that's what I'm going to do at the moment. So we're going to be playing the mission Cape Wrath, and it looks like we do have a few uh, a few loyal viewers here joining in. Let's switch over to the game. So, like I said, welcome. Uh, I hope the sound wasn't too loud. The game sound might have been too loud in Rome 2 stream. I just realized that I had it still turned up some. So hopefully it wasn't too bad. Turn it down here just a little bit. Thanks for joining the stream. Uh, enjoy the cutscene here. Let you all see that. Initial satellite data identified the location of the primary anomaly, along with dozens of secondary targets. We will take a northern route, skirting the Baladin formation. Doing this, we will avoid Gaussian territory and the worst of the deep desert heat. We will then cut south to the primary anomaly, the main goal of our expedition. As Chief Science Officer, Rachel Sajet will sample, analyze, and provide intelligence on these objects as we move deeper into the desert. The carrier Sakala has confirmed they are moving east with significant force and are expected to meet us at these coordinates. East of Cape Wrath, a place known as Hell's Gate. All right. <laughs> so the uh, yellow swagons is telling me that the other other stream turned into a heated debate about geopolitics. Glad I left then. And Arena Emperor suggests that the, I, I was joking in the chat saying, will I get sand fleas by the end of this? Arena Emperor says yes, giant mechanical ones with laser beams. <laughs> Someone's asking me how my day is so far. My day is good. Um, I like streaming with y'all. Uh, I like playing these games. Had a fun battle with Blade Master and uh, let's see. Uh, was it a Fallout Warrior and then Hero of Rome? Had a good time. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and start moving PC this way while I train out some light attack craft. I'm just going to have my salvagers follow the uh, carrier. Actually, I'll just kind of leave them in the back, and we'll move them up as needed. Training out some more light attack craft. I did figure out how to do the cinematic view, so huh? how about that? It's called glass mode. You can engage it with uh, control H, get you some close-ups on some of the units. So it's looking pretty sweet, huh? Yeah, and this, this mission, obviously, there's a big sandstorm going on. Gets a little bit crazy. Light attack vehicle in service. Fleet group uh, let's actually halt the carrier real quick. And I want to get my group set up. This is going to be group 2, my armor, along with Rachel and the support cruiser. It's going to be group 2, group 1 is going to be my uh, strike craft. I usually like assigning my carrier to 5. And we'll call, uh, we'll call the salvengers 4. We're missing one strike craft. I kind of want a few more strike craft. I don't need a ton, but I, I, I do want a pretty good number of them. 
because we will be facing some enemy rail guns. Spoiler alert. So what questions do you all have for me? Throw questions in the chat. There will be little times while I'm waiting units for units to move and stuff, and I'll try and answer some questions. Um, someone's saying, uh, Brody Cobb's asking what this game is about. Uh, it's a prequel to the old RTS game Homeworld. Homeworld was actually made a remastered version last year by Gearbox. And uh, Homeworld was all about how uh, you were on this dying desert planet and your people found out that they actually came from a different world a long time ago and you're trying to find that home world uh, so that's kind of the the story behind it um, and you leave your planet uh, and you have to try and make your way back to the galactic core to your home world but obviously there's an evil empire that's there and you end up having to try and force them out this is the prequel so this is on their desert planet and this is the process by which they figure out that they actually were not originally from this world. So you're on a, an expedition, and this expedition is looking for an artifact that they saw on satellite. And uh, you'll see what the artifact is in the end, but... I'm going to try and keep my light attack vehicles... Oh. Ooh, they've got some rail guns. Actually, those are all rail guns. Holy crap. Crap! I lost one of my armored units. I thought those were assault uh, assault vehicles, so I ended up losing one of my armored assault vehicles, which is bad. I needed it. But my light attack craft are going to jack these guys up. You saw I could use the smoke screen there, uh, essentially. And uh, the broken hulks of vehicles do stay present and persistent for quite a long time on the map, and it looks cool. It creates some nice effects. I'm detecting raw materials nearby that can be used for fleet production. Strike and copy that, Rachel. Recommend commencing resource operations. Wow, that was a bit of a crapshoot there, losing, losing those units. Um, we do need to move Capici up to these resources. I honestly probably should have just used Capisi to tank that damage. It would have done so quite easily. So if I had it to do over again, I would have recommended that. Just move Capisi forward with its turrets turned on, and you would have wrecked all that stuff. And uh, I don't think the enemy railguns could have damaged it as fast as Capisi could have killed it, and then you can just repair Capisi. It's not a big deal. So yeah, I, I think that was a mistake. The way I did that, if I had it to do over again, that's what I would do. So I'm going to let Capisi tank some of the damage for me. I am playing on the hardest difficulty setting, which is called Classic. I don't know if I'll be able to keep this up for the whole game, but the missions that I have played, I think I've played through about Mission 7, definitely seem like they would be possible on, on this difficulty setting for me. Uh, this game, if you're like a hardcore RTS enthusiast and you're very good at them, then this game's probably going to seem uh, easy for you, I think. Okay, we're going to start pulling these resources. And that's what we need. We need some armored assault vehicles after I got some killed. What the? Oh, I screwed up my grouping. There we go. And then the light assault vehicles like these here, uh, just like they said, they're good against ranged units. Let's see... <laughs> you all talking about Rome 2 versus this. So, you know, I love Rome 2, obviously, because I still play it, but I'm going to be honest with you all. It's been out for a long time. I don't dislike Rome 2, but I have played it so much. Like, seriously, I, I think I've played it like 1,200 some odd hours if you look on Steam. I'm not going to say I never want to play Rome 2 again or I, like I'm going to stop the videos on my channel, but I wish I could show something different more often because I've played it so much, but it seems like the, the majority of the demand on my channel, for whatever reason is still Rome 2. Um, so that's just the way it's going to roll for now, I guess. Uh, so yeah, but I, I mean, it's not like... Again, I'm not trying to say I dislike Rome 2 or I hate making the videos for Rome 2. I don't. Um, but, I mean, it's just... I need a new game, a new drug, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so, yeah. Yes, yeah, someone mentioned there um, 
I do want to do some online battles in this game with viewers, and I might even do some uh, next weekend. Uh, I didn't have time this weekend because I wanted to do a Rome 2 stream and get a siege battle. People have been asking for that for quite a while. So um, I uh, definitely uh, wanted to get the siege battle out. Okay, we can now train armored assault vehicles, which is good. Uh, we should only have money for one, but hey, I'll take it. I'm going to move Capici up and let it tank any, um, any enemies, and then we'll support as needed. But we're going to use the uh, use the extra armor and stuff of the Capici to be useful. Intel, I've located the source of the signal. It's an abandoned coalition carrier. It's been here for a while. My team and I are heading inside. Delay salvage operations until we complete a search of the vessel. Copy that. Rachel's team has begun to investigate the derelict carrier. We're exposed as long as we hold position here. A defensive perimeter must be established in order to protect Rachel and her team. Okay, I'm kind of laughing here because uh, I'm seeing the comments. Someone said that they liked my Charlotte Operation Charlotte Payne pun. And then we had the uh, we had a comment. We had a comment from someone too that um control group two designated. Ready for assignment. So I'm gonna move up my armor. Support vessels over here. I found an ID number inside the ship. And then gonna grab those resources. Capici is positioned to defend my salvagers. And then this uh that dune right there ought to break. Actually, let's, let's move back here a little bit so we can break the line of sight, I think, with this dune. Actually, that dune's never going to break line of sight. Okay, I'm going to put the support cruiser down here by Rachel. I'm going to put these guys up here on the hill. Okay, we've got good position. Rachel will be safe. I want to keep my uh, light attack vehicles away. This is a, a better fight for. I didn't want my support carrier to move forward and start taking hits like that, but it has anyway. Okay, my armored assault vehicles will do just fine. It's rail guns that I have to keep an eye out for. There we go. We've got to get to those rail guns. So we're going to hit the rail guns. Support cruiser's taken more hits already than I would have preferred. Drop a smoke screen there. And alright, got my light attack craft back up. So these guys up here have uh, a nice hill position. That's not really a problem. Oh, don't get my salvagers though. I don't want my salvagers to get killed. I was hoping that the Capici could kind of block them better, but. Okay. I'm detecting a unique signature coming from inside one of the bulkheads. Go for Capiti. This may be what the Galcian were searching for. Beginning bulkhead deconstruction. Okay, I'm going to train a couple more armored vehicles. I think two more ought to be good for now. Hostile armor incoming. Hostile on sensors. Authentication pending. Enemy light attack vehicle marked on approach. Okay, I'm going to let those guys maintain their high ground. Nah, we're good. Negative intel. We found a piece of unidentified technology grafted into the carrier sensor array. Keep us covered while we extract this artifact from the bulkhead. Greeting. Roger that. We'll deploy additional units to cover you. You need to hurry. Understood. Give us five minutes. That should be enough time. Okay, there's a railgun out here. 
I'm gonna go hit the rail guns. Make group two to drop smoke. Okay. We're gonna get the rail guns killed. We're gonna lose a few of our light attack craft to these sand skimmers. But shouldn't be anything too major. The smoke screens are super helpful, obviously. More rail guns inbound. Leave the light attack craft. I don't have any smoke screen available, so we're just gonna have to get our light attack craft up all over these rail guns as quick as we can, and we did. Attention. Strike craft destroyed. Gaussian ranged units engaging the Capici. They're guard out. Taking shunt power to the weapon range and damage systems to hold them off. This is for Captain. Point defense. Target set. Get moving. Receiving. Green line confirmed. Let's get our light attack craft over here to help Capisi. Yeah, Capisi's gonna be fine because their line of sight was blocked actually, so no worry. Like I said, Capisi can tank a little bit of damage, she'll be alright. I had done six armored transports. Did I lose an armored transport up here? I know what they were doing. I think I can merge it with our systems and greatly enhance our sensor capabilities. Let's see. Rachel is taking fire. Respond. Alert. Friendly taking hostile fire. Yeah, our uh, our armored assault craft up on this hill are going to be perfectly fine. They're going to be able to hold their own quite nicely up here. Roger that. And continue to push back Gaussians. Try and get you all a few close-ups from time to time. Okay, real guns coming in. I'm going to, let's see, attack move. Out to here. I'm going to hit the smoke screen there. Fast attack pattern, full speed. Uh, killed another one of my light attack craft. Should be alright though. Come on. The AI, one of the few things that they do right is they actually do uh, kite their rail guns, which does help. And they will kite the crap out of your. Um, Need to get my light attack craft over here as quick as I can. I don't think that they have enough firepower to kill the carrier quickly enough, but their rail guns are going to be a problem. I'm going to move the carrier up into this corner. Capisi can destroy all the light targets, and then my uh, attack craft will get their rail guns. There we go. Now our light attack craft are gonna get revenge on these rail guns. Let you watch that up close. Should look pretty sweet. There we go. Someone's saying Capisi's in bad shape. She's taking some hits, but you can kind of use the carrier in the right time as kind of an ammo sponge. Um, so that's that's what we did there. So the artifact, we found an artifact on that carrier. And I don't know if you all caught it or not. But that was uh, Rachel's brother's ship, so... Um, she now knows what happened to her brother. I guess he disappeared years ago. So Rachel and the support carrier can do repairs, and that's what we're going to do. Now, while repairs are taking place, what questions do you all have for me uh, over in the comments? Hit me up with a few, few questions. 
What's my favorite game? Um, I don't know if I have a favorite game. Right now, uh, there's a few games I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying this one a lot. I still enjoy the Homeworld Remastered collection a lot. Um, I mean, obviously, Total War series in general is going to be my favorite game. But uh, that's that's uh, probably my first thoughts. Yeah, it's going to be Total War, obviously. And then this... Uh, this game's fun. I like uh, RT. Uh, I don't. I don't like every RTS game per se, but I like certain RTS games, and uh, I think I enjoy this one. So we're gonna repair Capici. Let's see. Uh, any other questions? Questions coming? In? How much for this game? So this game right now is fifty dollars. It's pretty expensive for what you get. Um, though if they do add some maps to the multiplayer, uh, I think that it becomes uh, you know a decent bargain, uh, and I'm sure it'll go on sale eventually too. Uh, so it's not a full price $60 game, but I, I think that the price point on this would have been better at 40 or 45 based on what they offer here. The um, the campaign is fun. The game looks good. It has some nice features like line of sight, like so uh, terrain plays a role in the game. Uh, you have cool mechanics like the smoke screen, artillery, uh, aircraft. There's a lot of cool stuff. Um, so let's see. Uh, someone on here is asking what I think of PC Gamers Review. They gave it a 90. Um, I would probably give the campaign a 90. Uh, I would not give the multiplayer uh, a 90 because it just doesn't have enough features. So that's my thought. I think PC Gamer was a little too friendly to this. I would think 8 out of 10 would probably be better for this game. Um, and if they added a few more features back to it, I'd probably give it an 85 out of 10. I, to make this a 90 or a 95 out of, or out of 100, sorry, out of 10, um, I would think that you just, you'd just have to have several more game modes and multiplayer that makes it replayable. The campaign would have to have like some type of feature where you could play as the Gaussian or the Coalition so that there'd just be more features in general. So if, if it had some of that, I think that we'd be good, but it doesn't. Capici's going to wreck these units here, so we'll be fine. Let's see... Uh, and uh, let me explain a few things too. So the Capici has a, a power system here, and over time in the campaign will gain more power, and you can put it into these different systems. You have reactive armor, uh, which basically boosts your armor, and it can even do self-repair at the highest level. Then you have this one, uh, repairs other ships around it, and uh, then you have turret networks and range. So if you turn on turret networks and then put some in range, it'll start to increase the range of your carrier, and you can see that the carrier is repaired at this point. So let's get group two. And I'm going to have these guys just follow the uh, support cruiser. Let's get group, group one as well. And we're going to go pick up some uh, artifacts and salvage that's over here. So yeah, these are going to be the points in the campaign where I'm, I'm happy to answer questions for you. Like I said, because this is going to take a while. <laughs> Got a Guten Morgen air of Carthage. I like that German style. <laughs> yeah, I don't know much German, but... I'm pretty sure that's good morning, right? I mean, that, that's pretty straightforward. If I didn't get that, I'd be concerned for myself. And we got to put Rachel back into group Control two. Group two designated. Board screen, reposition. Okay, so let's see. Speak of the Gaussians and they shall appear. Yeah, it's kind of like Voldemort, right? Rachel, they who shall not be named. Am I willing to play a third age Total War campaign? That's a good question. Uh, Captain Backstabbington, I like that. <laughs> that's an awesome name. Um, will I play it? I, I don't know. What I would like to do, though, is um, do some multiplayer battles on the Third Age mod. Uh, so what I was hoping was maybe I could get the mod installed and working, and one of these Saturday streams we could do, like, multiplayer battles, um, kind of like fun scenarios on the Third Age mod. Uh, figured that that might be entertaining for people. So I don't know. That was just my thought. Tell me, tell me what you all think, but... You should do a game review video. So that's a so that I mean that's a fair question. Why don't I do reviews? I kind of just review games a little bit while I'm playing. I'm not really a great game reviewer. Um, Unidentified contact. Designated I know how to pay attention to details, but sometimes I'm not the best at like gathering them up and stuff like that. It's like it's funny because that's actually my job at work. Like I'm an engineer. I have to look at details all the time. Um, but I I don't know. Like I just. Um, I, game reviewing, I, I just, I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, and then it, it takes a ton of time to review a game. And uh, I'm not sure that I would get a ton of views for all the work that I put into it. I mean, I could try it sometime, but that's just my main concern with it. Uh, I don't, don't feel like it would be 
uh, necessarily hugely worth my time because game reviews take a lot of time like you have to pour like 12 to 20 hours into playing a game to get ready to be able to do the review and it just it takes it takes some time do y'all want to have some fun here there's Rachel she's gonna bring this uh, derelict railgun uh, back up at least she's supposed to be yeah she did all systems green hostiles designated trackers assigned Group two yeah, Capisi's getting attacked, but it's just light stuff, so it's not gonna not gonna be a big deal. Let's have some fun here. Um, we're gonna pick a light attack craft, and I'm gonna focus on it and uh, do the glass mode. Watch this. We'll go take it and do some evil Knievel like ramps. Check it out, going underneath, well through the support cruiser. <laughs> yeah, we can take it through the uh, like a. A trials course here, huh? We're moving up. Watch. Now if I just move it over here. Do some ramps. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, so the, the physics engine is pretty fun in this. You can you can have a good time with it, at least I feel like you can. Uh, let's see where we're at. Push down range. Let's watch them. Yeah, it's fun to just play with uh, some of the units, have some fun. No, oh, my camera's all distorted. That's why I'm, that's why I'm confused. Ramping the, uh, ramping the little light attack craft can be kind of fun whenever you're just like burning some time gathering CUs, which is exactly what's uh, going on right now. Let's send my uh, light attack craft back up for some, uh, some more ramps. Y'all want to see some more ramping? I see you collect the resources with magic. That's correct. Pure 100% organic magic. Don't question. <laughs> Alright, we're going to run our uh, light attack vehicle through some ramps here. Oops. Woo! <laughs> Almost flipped it over. <laughs> I don't know why this is fun, but it's kind of fun. If any of you into like four wheeling in real life, maybe this is something that makes you want to go do it or something. Anyway, I've never done any uh, any like four wheeling. Well, I mean a little bit of mudding with some friends, but mudding is more of a hillbilly thing. I'm guessing that like rock climbing and sand dunes maybe more of a like sport type thing. I don't know. What questions do y'all have for me? Keep hitting me with questions. Uh, someone says good evening from Japan. Hello, Japan. Thank you for joining. Uh, let's see. It's like Wolf 1392. I, Japan is definitely one of the... There's a lot of places that I would like to visit. Japan is certainly one of them, though. Especially after loving Shogun 2. But yeah, we got to collect all these resources. It's going to take a while. So that's... Uh, like I said, just ask me questions. And I'll just kind of keep playing around here. PC comes with a stereo PA system. That's correct. Um... Uh, the uh, the Capisi over here, you can uh, rock out your tunes, you know, hit it with some 50 Cent, Tupac, all your favorites. No, I'm just kidding. I don't really listen to any of that stuff, but if you all do, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, Capisi's got a pimped out stereo system. That, that was the whole point of the second mission. They weren't really refitting it for the desert. They were refitting it to where it could light the desert up with some sweet, sweet tunes. Um, you know, so as they uh, as they roll into Gaussian territory. Um, Rachel here. <laughs> yeah, you, you can uh, hit it hit it with some uh, some sweet uh, I don't know rap hip hop whatever you're feeling. Blow the Gaussians ears out. Got another light attack coming in on Capisi. Let's actually watch this um, in the in the cinematic mode. Capisi will uh, should crap all over these light attack craft. Look at the little graveyard here that the Capisi's created. Yeah, I mean, coming after a carrier with anything less than uh, rail guns or cruisers for support tends to be a very bad idea. Salvager ready. Systems ready. Hostile armor eliminated. Move us out. Acknowledged. That unit is down. Get it back up ready. Rachel's going to go over here and uh, repair this rail gun so it can join our forces. So I'll try and get you all some close ups while this is taking place. Let's go back and look for questions. What video is Patchy introduced? I, I want to say it's my old. Um, it's my old uh, Poland-Lithuania campaign uh, for Empire Total War, and I, I do believe 
if if you go on YouTube and search like Air of Carthage, Poland, Lithuania, the title actually says like Patchy, a legend is born or something. I went back and changed the title so that people could find it. Uh, will I post this on YouTube? Uh, yes. So this um this is gonna go to YouTube after we're finished here. So it'll be available to rewatch if you didn't catch the beginning of it. What music am I into? I'm really not into music. Um, I like some classical music. If I'm working out, I'm going to be listening to like the remixed version of the Tron soundtrack or something like that, but I'm really not into music. Um, not new music, anyway. I, I think I enjoy classical music more than new music. I mean, there's a few songs that are good here and there, don't get me wrong, but uh, I, I'm just, I really don't like go around listening to a lot of music, so I know I'm boring. Someone says I should try Sparta sometime, <laughs> and then uh, another fun question on here, and I'm not going to get deep into politics, and I am begging you to please not get into some firebrand discussion about this, but someone asked me what I think about American gun culture. I'm not going to comment on American gun culture, um, but I do own some guns, and I enjoy shooting them at the range a lot. Um, in terms of the politics of it, I'm not going to get into that, but it is certainly one of my favorite uh, hobbies right now is just to go out to the range. Uh, I think skeet shooting is one of my favorite things. Um, really enjoy skeet shooting, so I have a 16 gauge and a 12 gauge both that I like to use for that. Um, and uh, I go skeet shooting anytime I can, and then uh, I enjoy uh, just uh, learning how to do some rifle shooting and stuff too. And I have a, a pistol because I've just been trying to learn how to do that. So yeah, I mean, uh, in this part of the country where I live, it's pretty much common for absolutely everybody to have at least one gun in their house, so I'm certainly nothing special in that respect. All right, so the support cruiser can start heading this way. Give those guys a guard order. Um, I'm going to move over and pick up these other rail guns. This takes a little while, so this part of the mission's not as um, exciting, but I need to get all of these rail guns. I don't want to go kill the Gaussian cruiser because it'll end the mission, and we want to get all this stuff. <laughs> Who cares about American politics? Good point. I hear so much about American politics, and I do care because I live here. But I, I just hear so much about it all the time that I don't even want to talk about it. That's one of the fun things about YouTube is I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Looks like someone's into skeet here. Can you can do uh, can you shoot skeet in some of the European countries where I know gun control is stronger? Do they allow you to go out to like a, a range and shoot skeet? Um, I want to say I heard you can do such a thing in the UK, but uh, let let me know. Um, so yeah. What guns do I have? Uh, yeah, I don't want to get too personal with it, but I mean, like I said, I have a 12-gauge shotgun, um, and I have a 16-gauge shotgun that belonged to my great-grandfather. It's an old Remington, uh, I believe it's an 1147. Uh, so it's an auto-loader shotgun, 16-gauge. Um, That's definitely my favorite um, gun that I have. Uh, I do have, um, I have a rifle and a pistol as well, just a 9mm pistol and a 223 rifle. Um, so that's what I shoot with. If I could get more guns, I think some of the ones that I would really like to have, I'd love to have a lever action 30-30 just for fun. Lever action kind of kind of more like a cowboy type gun almost. Not that I have dreams of being a cowboy or am one by any, any sense, but just something that I think would be uh, neat to have since uh, that heavier caliber is something that I don't own. Um, I was never into hunting, uh, so yeah, I just like to shoot. Um, I need to go hunting though so I can learn how to do it, but I'm, you know, I, I have enough money to buy meat at the store so I don't really find hunting to be a big draw for me. So that's just me. <laughs> Someone says in Europe we're all pussies. I don't believe that. Uh, you do have different laws, but I, I wouldn't go to say that. Um, you know, it, I know that Europeans and Americans give each other a hard time a lot, and that's fine, but ho hopefully there's I, you know, one of the things that I love about America is that we, we try to be a melting pot. And um, I, I love to basically learn more about and get along with anybody who wants to be friendly with me, too. Um, so I'm, I'm one of those people that if, if people want to be friends and talk and we can have a good time together, great. I love it. O open to pretty much uh, anything. But obviously there's a lot of people in the world today, too, who are... Um, kind of jerks and don't like to get along with everybody else and obviously not a big fan of that and I wish that that would stop um, so but yeah I'm generally open obviously uh, to I consider myself uh, something saying there's always questions about Trump on here we're not going to get into discussing Trump Civilization 5 I've never played Civilization 5 um, so 
yeah, never played it. Uh, I think I played a Civilization game a long time ago, but that's about it. Let's see. <laughs> Someone's saying something about Canada. I know Canada's gun laws are different than the U.S. too, even though they're quite rural. I'm surprised that Canada's gun laws are so different. I would have thought they would have been more similar to the U.S. Because of all the rural nature. Honestly, the states in the U.S. that are usually easier on gun control are the ones that are more rural because typically those people do more hunting. They might need to defend themselves because police are further away. And then also you have wild animals like grizzly bears and wolves and other like mountain lions and stuff like that. So typically you are allowed, obviously, to defend yourself. Um, in fact, I want to say in Alaska you can carry uh, a gun around without any permit. Uh, just because it's you know it's a state where you may have to defend yourself against uh, dangerous wildlife like moose I think is actually from what I hear the most dangerous in Alaska um, kills the most people at least and then of course you got all kinds of black bear and grizzly bear and other stuff like that let's see Warhammer definitely excited to play um, definitely excited to play some Warhammer uh, I hope it's good there's some things I'm hearing about it that I'm not really a huge fan of but uh, We'll uh, definitely off topic for this, but you may want to look at your engineering panel. What engineering panel? You're talking about like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good call. There's upgrades we need to do. Good call. Um, Railgun fabrication. Start doing some research. This is the research, the engineering panel. Thanks, thanks for that in the comments, by the way. Yes, I was way off topic. Which state do I want to go to? I, I would love to visit every state, to be honest. Uh, I like to, to get out and see new stuff. And America is interesting in the sense that obviously every state is part of the same country, but at the same time you get uh, a little differentiation from state to state, and it's kind of fun. So I like seeing the the different states. <laughs> Let's see. Air, I want to defeat you in Rome too. Well, it probably wouldn't be that hard. <laughs> I think this is two streams in a row where I got defeated. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use my carrier to come up and tank damage. I'm going to bring group 2 up behind him. We're just going to leave my uh, my salvagers back in the back. The Gaussian uh, production cruiser is going to be over here. I'm going to bring up the uh, armored ships. I'm going to run, run my light attack craft up over to that hill. And we're basically going to come in here and, and hit the uh, Gaussian cruiser. Destroying them before assaulting the cruiser should tip the engagement in our favor. Right. Gonna launch some smoke out. And let's get some uh let's get some uh cinematics in the combat here. There's my light attack craft hitting the rail guns. There's the Gaussian production cruiser. And my armor and rail guns uh, are gonna be hitting the uh, production cruiser while Capici lays down fire on all the light craft. So it should be a pretty straightforward battle here. This uh, armored armored ship there is getting after my light craft, but it looks like it went down, so we should be good. So now it's just a matter of taking out the Gaussian cruiser. Appreciate the questions. It was fun answering your questions. Um, I'll try and do this in every live stream. Hopefully it gives you all a chance to learn a little bit something. Uh, look, we're inside our carrier on the view. <laughs> this happens sometimes in the cutscenes if your carrier is too close. <laughs> there we go. All right. Uh, hope you all enjoyed this one. Yeah, that, the, the view is definitely weird. I will be back with uh, more soon, but uh, enjoy you all sticking around for the streams and asking the questions. I'll be back for more. Um, and, of course, always be trying to take your question. Engineering killed by lack of funding. <laughs> all right. Like I said, hope you all enjoyed it. Air of Carthage signing out for this stream, and I will be back hopefully uh, every weekend where I have a chance.